All right, guys, so I've been up to the middle of the night working on the website, YouTube, all that stuff, and trying to get a lot of um, SEO things figured out. I want to stop and actually put some content out, though, and uh, tell you about something I'm excited about, which a lot of people have been critical about. So, <clears throat> let me just show you. It's my Kestrel, my 5700 Elite great unit i've had it for many years now and it's never let me down and then the other kestrel this is the 5700 x elite and a lot of people have been like well why would i bother buying that it's just more expensive blah 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 yada 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 well one you're supporting everything being made in the usa and assembled in the usa with this one with this one, um, your microchips and processor are coming from probably Taiwan, uh, which isn't bad. Taiwan's our ally. We should be supporting them. All right. <clears throat> Next thing. Let's go to this one. I can either have my Bluetooth on or off with this. So if I'm an operator in a hostile environment, I don't have the uh, option of running the Bluetooth to just the desired uh, strength that I need to maintain that connection if I'm running this on a tripod with a weather vane. Okay. Um, <clears throat> obviously you can shut the Bluetooth off completely and um, I'm not saying encouraging you guys to use this system as like the weather vane system as a crutch because you need to be able to call wind whether you have it or not. Um, with this one you can set the Bluetooth uh, to variable strengths and uh, you can just have that Bluetooth only emanating as far as you need it to. All right, so in this day and age with all the uh, electronic sniffers and electronic detection systems and stuff like that, the more contained you can be, the better. All right, and then moving on to this one, this the new one. This one I've always loved, but it seems it's kind of laggy. Like it takes a second to turn on and then you are switching you know, selecting stuff, I can tell there's a bit of a lag to it. With this one, it is lightning fast for doing my inputs and so on. So it's easily going to keep up with you, uh, whatever you're doing. Um, it loads a little faster, things like that. So, you know, when time matters, I'm just going to shut these both off and then hit them both at the same time and see if we can get you guys to see that. I apologize, this isn't the greatest... Maybe not the greatest idea. All right, and then it's really hard to hold them like this. So I don't know if you saw that. It may be that the um, that the frame refresh rate on the on the phone camera actually just cancels that out. So I'm gonna actually look at this a second. So just a hair faster with the 5700X. Of course, it's like dependent on me pushing the buttons at exactly the same time too. But I have noticed when I'm um, doing bigger calculations like that this one does get a little bit laggy. This is the old 5700 Elite. Uh, but overall, it's a great system and I don't have any complaints about it. I just wanted to go with something that had the security options that I was looking for. Um, and... <clears throat> that ability to calculate uh, extremely long shots with a bit more speed. And so there's really those three things. It's very compliant, which means everything is sourced and made and, and assembled in the USA. You've got the adjustable Bluetooth, and then you've got a faster processor for making those really big shots. So those big shots, like, you know, say if you're overseas, hypothetically or something like that, you're making those big shots and you're waiting on the system to load, well, your target may move in that time, right? So being able to to get that done and, and ready and, you know, have that solution does matter. Uh, same thing if you're in a changing, you know, say if you're in a competition and, and you know, uh, conditions are changing uh, as they do, you know, having this thing refreshing your solution as quickly as possible is a good thing. If you're hooking it up to an, a uh, 
a HUD to a heads up display on the side of your rifle, again, there's going to be that little bit of lag time between signal and stuff. And so if you can switch to something like this, you can cut at least one of those lags, those lag times out of the system and hopefully be a little bit more, um, more, uh, um, successful. Now, you know, you guys, you know, that have been shooting a long time and those that haven't, you know, that your timing of your shot compared to when the actual, what the wind is doing is super, super crucial because if you're dialed in for a shot at 10 miles per hour wind, you have the wind drop to five miles an hour. Well, guess what? Your solution is going to be off the mark and you're not going to be successful. So guys, the big basic point here is choose the right tools depending on what you're doing. If you're not shooting, you know, past two or 3,000 yards and you're not in a tactical environment, uh, you're probably really just fine with the 5700 Elite. Uh, if you don't want to have anything that's sourced overseas and security is more important to you, um, then the 5700X Elite is the one to go with. And that's really a no-brainer. So that's it, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.